<laughs> so when, when when you got lost though, because I, I, I want to. So were you? So you obviously audition. How many times did you audition? Twice. Twice, and you tested. Mm-hmm. So you auditioned twice, and then the third was a t- was a test. No, there were so few of us that it was one audition and a test. Wow. So you tested, and then did they tell you right away that you got it? There was a lot of drama around the decision um, because I oh. had another project that my agent would not support me taking lost for. So that's a whole other story. But um, Ooh. so, but they told me. And uh, they told me, I guess, a week later. And instead of being happy, I was really torn about it because my agent had already drawn her line in the sand and said, you cannot do this job. And, and she literally said to me, if you do this job, I will no longer be your agent. What so the heck? I actually wrote J.J. Abrams myself. And I said, J.J., you don't know me. You just hired me. But uh, I, I would love to do this show, but I have this other job do you think you could adjust your schedule for me? All the stuff an agent is supposed to do for you. We didn't do it. She, didn't, she did not lift a finger. But I'll tell you what. Why? When I got lost, she took every commission check. <sighs> These are all true stories. Oh, you my. You have a similar one, right? So, so when I, before I got Mad TV, no one would sign me as an agent. So I had my manager get me... Um, an audition for Mad TV because she she represented one of the producers on the show, and they're like, he's not gonna get it, but we'll as a favor so he can learn to audition. Anyway, I get it. I get to the final, right? It's between me and Taron Killam, and I remember. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Wow. I didn't between know me that. and Taron. Wow. And he, Taron was 17 years old at the time. Oh my. And I remember being there, sitting in their lobby, w- w- about to go in, and I remember my somebody called me and I go, he goes, hi, and I go, who is this? He's like, I'm your agent. And I go, I don't have an agent. Now you do. I negotiate your deal. And so they, and then ever since then, mm-hmm. they got 10% mm-hmm. of everything. So mm-hmm. they only came after you got the mm-hmm. job? Yeah. I had to get the job before they would sign me. Right. Well, uh, uh, speaking of Jimmy O. Yang, I was watching the podcast. He was talking about his role in Silicon Valley. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Same, mm-hmm. same kind same of thing, thing same right? Thing. Yeah, yeah. This is a very common story among all of us, which is why I feel this brotherhood and sisterhood with people who are like us, because we have very common experiences. And by the way, yeah. shout out to J.J. Abrams. I would never would have been on Lost had he not changed the shooting schedule. For me, I can't to fly see back anyone else that would do that. But you killed it on that show. Oh, that's very Fucking nice. Fucking killed it, dude. Th- thank you. Yeah, but there's there's very there was a very real chance I never would have done that show. But did you? Because I'm curious. When you were shooting the pilot and whatnot, did you in your head go, "This is going to be a hit"? No, I didn't because it was so unlike anything I'd seen on TV. We were speaking Korean on television. You know what I mean? I know, I know. Had you ever seen that before? No, never. And like, it was truly uh, a multiracial cast in a way that wasn't just lip service. You know? Yeah, it was real. Yeah. Yeah, and and you know, you're talking about if you list, if you read the log line, you could be reading Gilligan's Island. Like <laughs> people get wow. trapped on an island. Yeah. End of story. Where does it go from there? You would have no idea. It's really about the genius of those writers. So, so you didn't know any of about the supernatural elements in it. It was just basically a, an island crash in the first pilot. And then that's all you knew. When we were shooting the pilot, there was this big scene where we're supposed to hear this like roar coming. Yeah. From I remember. The yeah, yeah. 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 And we're supposed, we're at the, the plane and we're supposed to look out there. JJ literally said, okay, you're going to hear something, you hear, you, you got to imagine you hear something super loud out there. And we're like, what is it? Just listen, just listen for it. <laughs> just listen for it. It's huge. It's massive. It's scary. Action. And, and he it. played it? No. Oh, so you had to re- react to a noise. You're yeah. not even going to fucking know what it is. I think there might've been like a, and there's the noise kind of. A thing. Oh, wow. And you go, oh, <laughs> wow. Yeah. So th- it was a surprise to you too as well then. Yeah. So, n- and none of us knew what was happening week to week. None of us knew who, who was going to die in the next episode. We were, it was literally a day by day. Wow. Yeah. yeah I, I, I mean, for number one, that show made him, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Do who he is now. Mm-hmm. And that, mo- that was like the first time where I saw a TV show. I was like, it's like a movie. You know what I mean? Like the first time where I watched a network show and I was like, no, this is something like, you know what I mean, the first addicted show that I ever saw where I was like, I'm going to watch, like, you know me, I don't watch anything, yeah. but that fucking show, man, was you so fucking it. good. If that were on today, you'd be binging it from beginning to end. And, yeah. Not, you know, and so, you know, you could, you could make the point that it kind of ushered in 
the binging era. Mm -hmm. Because yeah, yeah. remember, people used to not watch our show because they wanted to wait for the DVD set to come out. Right. Wow. And then they just wanted to watch it all together. Wow. But toward the end, did you think it was getting a little silly or? <laughs> it was it was, it was tougher for it was me. Get, it was getting a little silly. Because, uh, you know, when the island moved. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's all you have to say. That's all you have to say. Bit like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. When you read that, the island moves, what did you... I, I read it twice. <laughs> I read it twice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what do they mean by this? Yeah. Like, what know, about the time travel? Yeah, so did that weird you out? No, that didn't that weird me out okay, because yeah. you know, Lost was one of the first shows to really use flashbacks as a storytelling mm. mechanism. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. And ever since then, you've seen it like used over and over again, mm. right? But the idea of like flashbacks and then flash forwards it seemed a natural extension of how they were telling the story. And I think even at that time, there was a show that tried to copy Lost called like Flash Forward or something <laughs> like that on ABC. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, but, you know, success, you can measure success by the number of people who want to imitate it, right? Right. And there were so many Lost copycats at that time. Oh, yeah, 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 you know? yeah. yeah. Um, so, you know, I just was along for the ride. Whatever the writers wanted to do, I was game because they created the show and I had a lot of faith in them. You yeah. Know? So... Um, even the ending, people were, you know, busting on the ending and stuff. But I just, I knew, I, my personal feelings were, you're never going to satisfy everybody, like we were talking about before. Mm -hmm. So I just cared about the characters. I wanted to know that the characters were in a good place. Yeah. And I felt like the ending took mm -hmm. care of that. People ripped on the Game of Thrones ending. I liked it. It's hard to end it's shows. It's so hard. Think yeah. about it. It's so hard to end a, like a multi-chapter book. You know? Yeah. And, and, you know, most of the time, the writers aren't even prepared to end it properly. So, you know, sometimes shows don't get endings. They just get canceled. So, <laughs> Yeah, I, I've been on those. Yeah. yeah, right? yeah. That's how my shows end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's you, hard to please everyone. Do you watch a lot of K-dramas? Uh, I don't know what a lot means, but I watch my share, I fair, my fair share. You know, I think um, Korean dramas have been doing some things, like, really in a very different way from American dramas for a long time. Mm 